What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, y'all. Short edition, five minutes or less. I am self-aware, diagnosed narcissist Lee Hammock. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about narcissistic people and how they use their friends and family, family members to try to suck you back into a relationship. Flying monkeys of a narcissistic person. Five minutes or less, y'all. Like and subscribe. Hello? Who is this? Yeah, this is uh, your ex's best friend. Oh my God, what, what do you want? Look, I know you don't know me, but I was with them this past weekend and they were just like crying and upset about you. Crying and upset, huh? Yeah, they were crying and just they just talking about you. They, would, they wouldn't even look at anybody else. Uh-huh, did they tell you why we broke up? Look, I don't know the whole situation. I just know that they care about you and they love you and they just, they, they made mistakes. Okay, great. Did they tell you that they lied to me and cheated on me and mentally and physically abused me? Oh, oh, I, I didn't know none of that. Yeah, also, they've been blowing my phone up, stalking me at work, blowing my friends and family up. Whoa, whoa, I, I, I ain't know all that. I really didn't. Of course you didn't know all that. They didn't want to tell you all the details to make themselves look bad. Look, all I know is that they love you and they miss you and they care about you. That's all I know. So you want me to give this abusive relationship another try because they were sad? I mean, abusive is a stretch. They don't seem like the type of person. Bye. Hey, it's your uh, your ex's best friend. Look, I don't know what happened, but they're actually threatening to jump off a building if you don't come see them right now. I can't talk. I literally cannot talk them off this ledge. All right, see you there. The whole time the building is like a little Lego tower. You mean the, the building is a Lego tower? I didn't say it was a huge. It was a real building. It's actually a Lego tower. Yeah, narcissistic people's friends and family members are not on your side. Typically, they're not gonna be on your side. I know there are some cases where like, the mom actually saved me, the dad saved me, the brothers and sisters, they helped me out of there. Yeah, that does happen, but typically, they're going to be on a narcissistic person's side. Typically, typically, this is the Greek god of maybe. You know what I mean? They're gonna be on a narcissistic person's side. They're gonna take their side in everything. In all their, in, you know, in all their endeavors, they're not gonna believe you. They're going to assist the narcissistic person in trying to get you back. Regarding y'all, I know in my in the skit that y'all saw, the the friend didn't know yet the dynamics of y'all relationship, but sometimes they absolutely do. Sometimes their friends and family know exactly what they're doing to you behind your back, or they what they're doing to you in your relationship, and they don't care. They'll still reach out on the they'll still reach out on a narcissistic person's behalf to try to suck you back into a relationship. And then you'll be like, oh, their family member reached out. Their mom reached out to me. Their dad reached out to me. Their sister, their best friend reached out to me. So that must mean that it's real. No, it doesn't mean it's real. It, yeah, it's real manipulation. But it doesn't mean it's real. You know what I'm saying? That, no, it's not real, genuine, authentic feelings a lot of times. Sometimes that person, sometimes that, that fly monkey or that blind supporter of that narcissistic person. So yeah, sometimes they can be in the dark and not know what's going on. And that narcissistic person could actually be exhibiting be, could actually be sad or whatever and they're like why are you so sad <clears throat> my girl left me and she won't come back to me she won't pick the phone up and i miss her and i can't breathe really good whole time <laughs> whole time they didn't cheat on you and beat you up and stuff like that that's why you don't pick the phone up you 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 at, you at the courthouse trying to file a restraining order but guess what mommy or the best friend hey my son's over here having heart palpitations and he's saying he needs to talk to you please can you leave the you know can you wherever you are i don't care where you are you need to come see him right now please come save my baby that's that's is that good sugar is that good sugar pumpling sugar dumpling it's good mama and crazy enough i can breathe better now i can finally breathe again <laughs> you see what i'm saying narcissistic people you like Everybody gets manipulated in a narcissist life, y'all. It, it just happens that way, y'all. Narcissistic people are going, you are not the only person in a, in a narcissist life that they're manipulating. They're manipulating their friends and family to be on their side and support them through anything. You, like I said, when you, when you decide, if you decide to break up with a narcissist or, or you know, move on with, move on from them, sometimes you have to go no contact with not only them, with their, with their entire family and their entire friends as well, y'all. Or, do you run the risk of them reaching out to them, watching your Instagram stories, reaching out to you, trying to manipulate you or harass you, y'all? Um, just stay safe. Block everybody. I call it a universal block. A uh, universal block. Everybody gets blocked. <laughs> anyway, y'all, like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.